Well, welcome back guys to another video, and today I thought for my anniversary on January 8th, uh, my one year anniversary, I thought it would be a good idea to rank all of my videos from worst to best, um, split up into zones, which I'll talk about more in a few minutes. But yeah, if you um, enjoy, like and subscribe to uh, see more videos coming soon in 2021. By the way, quick disclaimer is that streams are obviously not counted, um, which is guys that fall, and uh, the This Is Rocket League stream, which um, are both unlisted, um, and I'm probably never going to list them again, so those don't count. Just the... Th um, just the um, main videos that I've uploaded on my channel. The zones, it will go from the worst zone, which will be first, which since we're going worst to best, it will be the worst zone uh, in one group of videos to the next group of videos. Those are zones, and all I think all those videos grouped into one zone are around the same qu quality which the worst zone will only have one video in it because I think that is by far my worst video or my least favorite it's not in my opinion it is gonna be um, worst to best you can rank these however you want but here we'll get started we are now entering the worst zone which is the uh, one video, and it's by far my least favorite video, and that video is obviously Apex Night Battle Legends. I like pretty much every video I've made so far, except for this one. I'm not saying it's utterly horrible, but there's no need for this to be over 10 minutes, let alone 30 minutes. There are there are pretty funny vid parts in this um, video, though, but some very extremely dull boring parts as well um like parts that are literally just talking and nothing funny happening i think i was trying to make this video cinematic and intense and that's why it's over the 30 minute mark but why on only my fifth video why would i feel a need to make it seem like this video was a movie i guess this video really kickstarts ling the linguini storyline but that and and some the somewhat funny parts are what this ma make this video not ultimately bad, but seventy five of this seventy five percent of this video is very pretty boring. Um, so yeah, I'm comp I'm contemplating remastering this video at a later date, which in which I would cut it down to probably five to eight minutes. Um, which I think would be a pretty good idea, like some remastered version or something. I don't know. Um, but I just don't think this is a very good video, and it's definitely my least favorite video that I've made so far. I don't know what else to say about uh, Apex Night Battle Legends. Alright, we are now entering the Mez Zone. And these videos are not very good, but not extremely bad. And to start us off in the Meh Zone is... Um, I play Subnautica Episode 1, Gone Fishing. So this is a huge jump up from uh, Apex Night Battle Legends, but this is far from my favorite video I've made. I like this idea of a solo series like this with just me, but it just sounds so bored in this episode. I'll give myself the benefit of, of the doubt because this is my the second video I've ever made, and the first video with just me and this was very very early in my channel's lifetime so i understand the flaws with the <clears throat> the editing uh but i kind of like this for some reason i don't know why but i slightly do it's got a couple funny scenes especially the beginning but what really brings it down is is the length i don't like the, how this 14 minutes but i understand why it is unlike apex night battle legends it's longer than any, any uh, it's longer than my other videos 
because of me trying, I guess, to show this show the stuff that's important to the story, like me crafting or exploring an area, for example. But I think this sh probably should be around the eight to ten minute mark. So overall, not horrible. The editing is, but it's got some stuff that kind of makes up for it. Coming up at the uh, 15th spot is, this is Rocket League Episode 2, um, The World of Bots, which, yeah. I totally forgot about this video. It's got some uh, funny moments and slightly set the groundwork for, my, for the later parts of my channel, with the uh, PNGs and stuff, but... This barely beats Gone Fishing, which is which is funny because these videos were uploaded back to back. The editing is not very great, obviously. Stuff kind of looks sloppy, but it slightly gets better as we go on. I really like the training part in the middle for some reason, and it's probably the funniest part of the video, with the um, editing pretty decent in that part. Um, and this is the only video that so far that I've uploaded with a big mistake in it. Um, which is the part where I call the episode name Thanks, which was the old title for this video. Um, the title I came up with that was used wasn't much of an improvement, but it's okay. The credits look sloppy as crap, but I blame that on iMovie. Overall, not too bad. I'll rank this over g Gone Fishing by a very, very, very small margin. Alright, now we are entering the decent zone, and these videos I think are okay. And the video that begins the decent zone, um, and coming in at the 14th spot is, oh gosh, watch out. This video is the shortest video I've made so far, um, by far, um, and this, this one is definitely a video that was just made just because I needed to make one at the time, because I was pretty busy, so I just pumped this, pump, pumped out this uh, four-minute vid. Um, I like to this to think this is more of a YTP than some of my better contact content. Well, a YTP that's based on original content. Um, so yeah, uh, and I think the comedy fell slightly short. It was still funny at some points, and I love the ending and it's the entire reason I made the video. Uh, and obviously why I named it the way I did. But overall, clearly a filler video, obviously. But, um, not very bad. Coming, and coming in, the 12, or the 13th spot is, this is Rocket League Episode 3, Linguini Gaming. Which, which is, this is probably the weirdest video that I've made, because this is the only video... I'm not in, or any of my friends are in. What the heck is this, you may ask? Three simple three simple words, text-to-speech. This is probably the video I've spent the most time on, because getting the text-to-speech shy movie was a nightmare. But I like to think this video overall, or, but I like this video overall, and I think Richie and Linguini arguing is pretty funny. This video is sandwiched be between some of my best content, so watching all my videos back to back is strange when you watch this and the perfect toothbrush back to back. The jump in quality between winning the game to this and then the perfect toothbrush is weird. Overall, decent. Editing is getting much better. Oh wait, for uh, one more thing, I almost forgot the easily the best part of this video. It's obviously the Richie rap. Seriously, I bet I'm going to make a full version someday because I love it so much. And now, coming in at the number 12th spot, the grandfather of all my videos, this is Rocket League Episode 1, The Japan Man. The one that started it all, the, the video that is the entire reason I'm ranking on these on this day. Well, not on this day, but... The video... That is not very great. Don't get me wrong, I think it's decently funny as a first video, but the editing is what it brings it da this down far. But when I first watched it with my friends, it was hilarious on that first viewing. It's definitely gotten worse over the months, by far. But overall, a decent video, I think. First video.
Also, the entirety of this this is Rocket League in the bottom five. Yes, you could probably guess why I'm not doing those much anymore. As we now enter the pretty good zone. Now that the medi mediocre stuff is out of the way, in comes the videos I think are pretty good. All right, starting off the pretty good zone is coming in at the 11th spot is building an empire in city skylines. So this is the video that is on the cusp of the mediocre stuff and the pretty good stuff. This video is weird because it's a pretty good video. The comedy is very solid. But there's this one thing that holds it back from being on the level of the stuff ahead of it. Do you hear that voice in the background? The voice that sound like he, it sounds like he's utterly bored of his, out of his mind and wants to go do something else? Yeah, that voice is me and I sound like I woke up at 3am to make this video. For most of the video. Anyway, I do get a little more less bored at near the end. And I think it's me just not being incredibly comfortable doing a solo video yet. Which I've gotten more comfortable doing these um, last few months. And oh yes, this is the first appearance of the uh, the first appearance of the f official outro. Overall, I do like this video. It's pretty funny, and the edit editing is kind of getting better. Now this is where the stuff gets good. Now coming in at the number tenth spot is seeking for hiders in Minecraft. This video is the one that kickstarted my channel in terms of editing in comedy, and it's pretty good in my opinion. It's not, I don't think it's as good as the other videos above it, but it's pretty funny, and the music is good as well. And this video is when I realized I should cut back the length of my, on the, I should cut back on the length of my videos, because every video after this is under 8 minutes, not counting streams, which I talked about earlier. This is pretty good. This is pretty good overall. There's there there isn't much to say here because the video is literally just hide and seek in Minecraft with my friends. All right, coming in at the ninth spot after seeking for hiders in Minecraft is winning the game, which is another Minecraft episode. This is a Minecraft Legacy episode. Both Minecraft episodes in a row. Um, yes, and they're both very equal in quality. Both of the Minecraft videos have very good background music, and I think I made a good good choices on the music. I think the Minecraft mu the Minecraft Legacy series and I play Subnautica are the two series that have that only have one installment. I did work on I play Subnautica episode 2 a tiny bit, then decided nah, I don't feel like making this. And then um Threw it, threw it in the trash. Uh, but I think Minecraft Legacy is fine with just one video. And it's pretty solid, so yeah. I think this video is pretty funny. You're going to be hearing that for the for the rest of the list. I rank this higher than hi Seeking for Hiders by an extremely small margin. Like, Gone Fishing in the World of Bots. Alright, this is the last zone, and it's my favorite zone. These next videos are my favorite videos so far. Coming in at the 8th spot, leading off the my favorite zone. And coming in at the 8th spot, leading off the my favorite zone. Is losing life in one very simple step. Now, I think this video is the least good of my the favorite zone. But it's this is still, this is great in my opinion. Music, heck yeah. Donkey Kong Country Returns for the win. Comedy, do I need to say anything here? It's literally just a Fortnite death run. It can't get any more simple than that. And we get straight into it as well. My friend the hunting ant appears in this video and completes all four of my friends and brother appearing in a video. Gibson, Swag, and John M at 9 in The Japan Man, The Hunting Ant in Losing Life, obviously, and Moose World, aka The Queasy Lemon in How to Find the Perfect Toothbrush. Not much else to say, but overall, one of the favorite, one of one of my favorite videos I've made. All right, coming in 
at number seven is Building an Empire in Planet Coaster. The kind of sequel or spiritual successor to Building an Empire in City Skylines, and I like this way more than that video. This is my this is only my third solo video, and this is definitely my favorite. I think I executed jokes well. It's neither sh too short or too long. I may have overdone, no pun intended, the chief beef stuff. Um, but the joke is that it is overdone. But the joke is that it is overdone. My favorite joke slash line in this video is there's no royalty here unless you count the chief, be chief beefs, which I do. And that's basically the entire video, in my opinion. Just well-executed lines that I'd like that I like a lot. And that's the big strength with my solo videos is that for some reason I execute jokes a lot better than my other videos. Probably because I'm not just recording me playing a, ga a game with my friends. I'm focusing on making jokes and talking to the fans or to you. I'm much more focused on uh, editing my other videos than the solo videos because in these videos everything is here already I don't need to add too many other things to make it funnier and that is why I'll keep doing solo videos once in a while maybe I'll build another empire sometime next spot is number six and it's gonna go to going to an aquarium in apex legends Alright, this video is the first video I edited with DaVinci Resolve, and you could really tell a difference between this and the Japan Man, for example. And I was so happy to delete iMovie and move on to a way better editing software, so I should, so I should probably talk about the video itself now, and it's pretty funny, the editing is or, way better than my older videos. Sorry, I'll stop talking about iMovie now. Um, this video... It's quite a few jokes, like me saying Nimbus in a weird way, the entire thing of Rift being an aquarium and Fortnite jokes. Me walking into a building despite Gibson Swag telling me not to. The Mozambique joke and the Mozambique friends, or Mozambique fans. And last but not least, us interpreting the stars of in the um, Apex, or Apex Legends Battle Pass as a Grand Theft Auto um, wanted levels. This is the best Apex Legends video so far, and for sure not the worst <clears throat> Apex Night Battle Legends. Overall, this video is very good, in my opinion. Uh, just barely not enough to get into the top five, but still pretty good. Anguini Gaming was the weirdest video I've made. Well, this is probably the second weirdest video I've made. Coming in at number fit five is the password. Well, this isn't as weird as it is out of place with my other videos. This is a different story than just the tutorials, which still we have not gotten to. So we'll talk about them later. But this is a more, I'll say, cinematic approach to a video. Um, remember the last time I tried to be cinematic? Well, this, in my opinion, didn't absolutely fail like that video. This is uses the characters to tell a funny story. Nothing groundbreaking, but I think this was a pretty good idea for a skit-like video. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there's nothing really else to talk about. This is a pretty good skit video. Uh, the tw also, the twist is a pretty funny conclusion without um, spoiling anything, in my opinion. Coming in at number four is how to find the perfect toothbrush. And this is the big video. This is probably my most ambitious video idea at the time, which isn't too ambitious now, but at the time, this was huge. I didn't want to make another gaming video. I wanted to make something completely different. So I came up with funny toothbrush skit video, which would, would require bringing out the camera and doing the first live action video on my channel. The end product is still very funny as it was when I was, when I created it. The the background music helps a lot too, bring out the satire of this just being a skit tutorial. I have no idea how I came up with 
the perfect toothbrush, but I'm very glad I did. I'll probably change a couple things about this video, but still very good in my opinion, and I think it deserves this number four spot. So now we are in the top three. Kicking off our top three, coming in at number third. It's my most recent, the most recent video I've made. How to find the perfect holiday special. Um, the most recent video I've made, I like it a lot. Not, not actually, not like it a lot. I really like this a lot. The one problem is, and I'll get this out of the way first, the, is obviously the bass boosted audio slash music, which is more funny than a problem. I still laugh at the outro being unintentionally bass boosted. But with that, that out the way, I think this video is great. The, we, we shouldn't be fighting because holiday is kind of cliche, I will admit. But I'm not going to spoil anything, but the ding twist. For some reason, I think I've executed it very well. This video strayed maybe a little bit too far from the tutorial aspects, with the tooth perfect toothbrush being entirely steps to the tutorial and perfect video ideas, which we'll get to, um, sticking to the steps as well, aside from the intro. But this video needed to stray away to tell more of the story. I'm not going to say why, but y you know what? If you, if you haven't watched this already, please do. In fact, just watch every video on this list, and like all of them, and subscribe, and turn on the bell. All of those you need to do to see the top two on this list. Alright, just kidding, we'll get to the top two. Um, overall, for how to find the perfect Christmas slash holiday special, I really like this video in my opinion, and I think it de deserves to be in the top three. So coming in at second is how to find the perfect video ideas. So, all live-action videos in a row in the top five? Well, I, re I originally had this video number one, but the other video, in my opinion, deserves it way, 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 way more. This is a pretty gosh dang good, good, I'd even say very gosh dang good video. There's so many jokes here that work, there's so many jokes here that work in this video. Like me st stealing from other YouTubers, for example, the pause challenge, uh, the pause challenge appearing, and the British accent makes it very clear who I'm stealing, and the unboxing part, which is literally taken from any unboxing video. Um, my favorite parts are by far the board games joke, the gardening skit with the gasoline, the video game reviews, and the prank videos joke with the toad hat. Wait, did I just list every video idea? That might be because there's not really a bad part of this video, in my opinion. So this deserves the number two spot. I wonder what number one is. Well, you see, the last seven videos have been relatively new, with the oldest being How to Find the Perfect Toothbrush. Well, this is by far the oldest video in the favorite zone. You know what I'm in need of? I am in need of speed is coming in at number one. And when I say this video deserves number one spot, this video really deserves the number one spot. In terms of my channel, this is pretty much the only video that I extremely love. Everything flows so well, the high speed racing, the background music, me and my friends laughing as we get chased by 5,000 cops. This was not my most ambitious video. This was just a gaming video like over half of my other videos. This wasn't, or this was not the video that I put the most time into, but this is my favorite video so far through one year. This is by far not the best video in terms of other videos that are not on this channel. I've seen way better YouTube videos than this. This is my favorite video I've made so far. It's not perfect, it's not the greatest video on YouTube. But through a year of me making videos, this one reigns supreme. So that's it. One year of YouTube in the books, and I cannot thank you enough for watching these videos. I would also like to thank my friends for helping me get through this first year of making videos. If this channel was just me, that would make this a lot more boring. But thanks for watching this video as well, and I hope you have a great day. Also, more of it's coming out soon.
Yes, now that that year is over, I can finally steal Jack's YouTube. All right, shut up, Linguini. I'm done with.